Hey there guys, welcome to the next tutorial here on the channel. I'm going to show you guys how to make a duct tape fez today. It was actually one of the uh, major requests I've been getting probably for the past uh, half a year or so, probably about six months. And people have always asked me, you know, can you make one? So I decided to film a tutorial here and show you guys how to do it. So we're actually going to need a pen and a piece of paper to start off. And I'm going to show you guys how to make your own kind of template for the hat. And then we're going to go from there. So let's get started here on the tutorial. Alright, so if you guys don't know what a fez is, it's pretty much, they're mo mostly, you know, red in color. I'm going to be using red for this uh, tutorial. They're pretty much kind of like a cylinder cylinder hat, which kind of has a rounded base where your head goes in. They usually have like a little string with tassels on it as well. So the first thing we're going to need is our pen. And I'm going to draw a line at an angle straight down like this. And depending on how uh, high I make this line is how high the fez is going to be. So if I want to make it, you know, really short, I can, you know, make that line really short. If I want to make it a lot higher, I can always of course do that as well. Then what we want to do is take the bottom here and we're going to draw kind of like a, a semicircle here and we're just going to kind of curve it around towards the bottom and you want to get kind of a good curve here. Don't you know be afraid to do it a few times to go all the way to the bottom because it's not really going to make a difference until you cut it with a pair of scissors. Then what we're going to do is do the same thing on the top. We're going to curve it once again to right about there. And we're going to come down on an angle to the right on this one. Just so that we have a kind of an upward left angle on this side here. So just like that. Then once you get a good, you know, kind of a kind of a curved piece there, we're going to take our pair of uh, scissors and we're going to cut that piece out and we're going to use that as part of our template. Now once you have that piece cut out, you're going to take a few pieces of duct tape and also a few more pieces of paper and you're going to draw the exact same thing. So you can kind of take this first piece, put it on top of another piece of paper, trace it out and cut it out, cut it out, you know, a separate piece. And then you're going to do that a few times. What you want to do is get it attach these pieces of paper together so that you can wrap it all the way around, just like this and then just set it on top of your head. You want the bottom to definitely be the rounded piece so the top part here should be a lot smaller than the bottom. And then you can kind of just adjust this however wide your head is and you want to set this on top of your head. Once you get it set on top of your head and it's the right size, you're going to take another piece of tape and you're going to connect it together so that it has this piece here. So once you have that piece connected, I'm just going to hold it with my finger for now. But if you look inside your fez here for your temple, you should see a little bit of an overlap. If you don't, you're fine, but you should see a bunch of uh, you know overla overlap here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark just slightly after that. So it should be right about there. Going right onto that piece as well. And I'm actually going to trim all that off so that I have an exact piece. And then I'm going to you know cut out a whole bunch of strips of duct tape and kind of transfer this giant paper piece onto here. So I can take my either my pair of scissors or a really sharp hobby knife and then kind of just come down at an angle just like that. And I'm going to get back to my piece here and then connect it once again and make sure that it works. So that's just about perfect. Now what I'm going to do is cut out a whole bunch of strips of tape and transfer that on. So this part is fairly straightforward. We're just going to cut out a whole bunch of long strips of duct tape and we're going to very easily make a sheet of tape here that is the size of this paper piece and then we're just going to trace it and then cut out that piece of duct tape. So I'm going to take a few strips of tape that are probably about 12 inches long, about an even foot. I'm going to take them and just stick them together just like this, overlapping a little bit. I'm going to measure this up to see how it's going. So I need to probably put at least two more strips on here and then I can cut out that one segment and then I need to cut out another segment and kind of work on this rounded piece here. So I'm going to do that now. Alright, so it's a little hard to see but I have this entire paper template stretched out over top of these two sheets of tape that I kind of combined together. So what I'm going to do is very simply going to take my pen, trace all the way around this, this uh, paper sheet and then I'm going to take my pair of scissors and cut out that piece of duct tape that's left after I, you know, I mark all the lines. So once I have that piece all cut out, we can discard the paper template for now. We're not going to need that again. Then you're going to fold it together and kind of try it out on your head. I've already done that. I marked the spot, so I'm going to take a piece of duct tape. And I'm just going to seal that up right there. And then we're going to work on sealing up the top and maybe adding a few little tassels onto it. I'll show you guys how to do that too. So to make the top of the fez, we don't actually have to mess around with making a, you know, a circle or anything like that and trying to make sure it's the right size. All we're going to do is make sure that it's pretty much a circle all the way around when we lay it down like that. Remember the bottom part definitely should be wider 
this should definitely you know, start up a lot wider on the bottom and then kind of taper off to being smaller at the top. And then what we're going to do is make sure that it's nice and circular. Then we're going to take a few strips of tape and kind of drape them across and then seal them down. And then we're just periodically going to make sure that it's roughly a circle all the way across. So we're going to turn it this way. And of course the sticky side is inside the, uh, the center there. So just bear in mind, it's going to be really sticky on the inside here. I'm going to take a few strips of tape. I'm going to strip uh, to stretch these all the way across the top of the fez. Probably make at least one more, which will go across there. Then I'm going to flip it over and then take a whole bunch of strips of tape and kind of stick those the opposite way on the inside to make sure there's no sticky part on the inside. Now for the inside, I usually just take a whole bunch of smaller pieces of tape. These don't have to cover up every sticky part because chances are your head or your hair will never touch all the way inside there. So you pretty much just have to cover up, you know, all the main parts of the sticky part that's showing. And you can leave, you know, the little edges on the side without, you know, without you know, sticking anything down on top of those. So maybe one little piece in there in the corner and then we'll be good to go. So to make the uh, the string and the tassels that go along with it that usually hangs from you know the direct center of the fez, I took a, a strip of tape that's about nine inches long, I cut that, or fold it in half rather, and then I'm going to cut it in half with a pair of scissors here. And one of these strips is going to be the entire length of kind of like the string, quote unquote. And then what I'm going to do is cut this in half one more time. And these are going to be all the little, you know, tassels that hang from that one part of the string. And I'm just going to cut this into a whole bunch of different segments to kind of conserve tape and save a little bit of time too. So a whole bunch of little segments. Then we're going to take all the little tassels. We're going to gather them together. I cut these all to be about the same size. Going to make sure they're nice and flexible, that they're not going to bunch up or anything. Going to arrange them a little bit like that. I'm going to take this piece and this is going to wrap around and kind of keep them all secure and all together. So I'm going to fold it like that and then kind of bunch them up like this. Just like that. Just kind of like a little, real little piece of a cheerleader's pom-pom, just, you know, like a tiny little piece there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fez, I'm going to attach it right about there, and then I can definitely cut this to right about there and then attach the tassels to it. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's how to make a duct tape fez. As you can see, I wanted to do kind of like a live shot here so you guys can see what it looks like on me. But the tassels definitely add a little bit to it. You can definitely, you know, go all, all out with that, make them, you know, like a little bit longer or a whole bunch of different tassels. And that's kind of exactly what a fez is supposed to look like on your head. So hope you guys like this tutorial. I'll catch you guys next time on the channel for another tutorial coming pretty soon.